YouTube, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a quick video going over a process on how to make sure that your end users Canvas applications are always up to date and running on the newest published version that you've released. Now, I'm sure there's been a time where you've run into an issue where you've published a Canvas app, you've moved it to the production environment, and you still have data that might be from a previous version of the app or users that are missing fields, users that are missing app elements. And depending on the size and scale of your application, that can get pretty frustrating. And unfortunately, on the developer side of things, there's no way to just force the update out to everyone's account or device. Now, most of the times when people re-log back into an application, uh, Power Apps does a really good job of updating automatically, especially in the web. Uh, but this is for a situation where maybe someone has a app that's just always running on their phone and then they never close out of it or they never close out of the Power Apps app or someone has an application up on their web browser. So today we're just gonna be going over a quick solution on a way to fix this. So what we have here is just a really simple application. Uh, field one, field two, text fields, a submit button, uh, they don't do anything. Um, and then we have a version down here, um, just a field that says version. And then we have this uh, version TXT with uh, just the text of one right now. So right now this text field is going to signify the app version, which we're just going to hard code in manually. That's certainly something you could do for your applications, or you could maybe have this read a SharePoint list somewhere um, and update it that way. Uh, but for the sake of this video, we're just going to have um, the version hard coded here. So by the end of the video, what we want to have is if a user is on the wrong application version and they click the submit button, that the app is going to then show a pop-up and say, hey, you're on the wrong version, you need to update. Or if the user loads up the app and it has not updated, uh, we want the app to kind of lock up and show that pop-up as well, letting the user know, hey, there's a new version, uh, you have to close the app. So where we want to start is by storing the app's actual version number um, in a database somewhere. For the sake of this video, we're going to use a SharePoint list. So we're going to come to the Power Apps University uh, SharePoint site. We're going to click New. We're going to click List. And for the list name, we're just gonna call it app underscore versions. And we'll go ahead and click create. So this could be a place where you store multiple different apps with their respective versions. Um, for this video, it's just gonna be a single record for the app. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is make a new column. We'll just have it be a text column. And its name, we can say app underscore version. So now we can add a record for title. We can just say that this is gonna be the app name. So we'll just say version app. And for the current version, we're gonna go ahead and say one and then we'll exit grid view. So now we're back at our Canvas app and what we need to do is add that list back as a data source in our app. So we're gonna to go to the SharePoint, uh, we're gonna find the list app versions and we're gonna connect that. All right, so to start, what we're gonna tackle first is the situation where a end user would be loading up the Canvas app. Let's say an update just went out a couple minutes ago and they boot it up and it still has not updated and there may be, maybe they're being prompt to update it and they don't see the message or they click off of it. So what we need to do is create a situation where the app will just automatically lock up as soon as I open it and say, hey, this is the wrong version, please exit. To do this, what we're gonna do is go to the app property and make sure that we are on the on start property. We're gonna pull this down a bit. So what we first wanna do is get two variables. The first variable being the application version that SharePoint says, which is kinda of gonna be our source of truth here. And the second version being the version number down here in the app, basically what the app is saying it's currently at. And then we're gonna compare the two. And from that, uh, we can display a pop-up or not display a pop-up. So we wanna start out by typing in set to set a variable. And we can call this variable actual app version. And for its value, we want to reach out to SharePoint. So we're gonna say look up. And our list is app versions. And the title of our app in SharePoint is version app. So again, imagine this is a long list of different applications. So we want this specific one because um, this version corresponds with the project we're working on. So we're gonna go ahead and say where the title is equal to version app. And then we want to comma for the result and we want to return the app version. And then we can close that off. So now we want to close out the variable by another parenthesis. Um, so perfect. Now we have the actual app version, which is set to be what SharePoint says it is. So now we have a variable for the actual app version that our data source says that it should be at. Um, now we just need to make a variable for what our app says. So we can go down wherever your variable is stored in your app. We can copy that label and go back to the on start property. And we can just say set current app version. And we're going to say version text dot text and then we can format this so now that we have the versions of the app in variables we can compare these two to determine if they're the same or different so what we want to do is type if um, what we want to say is 
actual app version equal to current app version. Um, then we want a comma. We want to do is say set, um, let's say version issue to be false, meaning that there's no issue because the app versions match up. Um, else, so if they are not the same, we want to say set version issue to be true. And then we close out that variable. And now we can do another parenthesis to close off the if statement and we can format the text. So again, just to recap this, what we're doing is we are setting the actual app version by looking up in our SharePoint list um, what the app version truly is or what it should be. Um, and then we are setting the current app version based on what the app says. Um, and then moving down here, we're comparing the two. And if there's a discrepancy, we're saying, hey, set the version issue variable to be true. If there's not, it's just gonna set it to false. So now that this is done, we can kind of migrate this code onto the button. So what we'll do is we'll just copy all of this and go over to our button. Um, and it's on select property and we can paste it. What we don't need to do here is set the current app version since when the user's in the app, this has already been set. And while this code is kind of on the submit button, I think that it's best placed in the navigation sections of the app. So if there's like a home screen with navigation links to put this code on the navigation links. Um, so that it doesn't get to the point where a user fills out a really long form and then they're notified they're on the wrong version, um, just putting it as upfront in the app as possible. So we can actually rewrite this bottom part to be a little cleaner for this button scenario. So we can copy this piece, uh, delete it. I so kind of want to just reword what we're saying and we'll say if and then not and then actual app version uh, equals current app version and then close that out in the true value. So what we're saying here is we're saying if not, so if the uh, actual app version does not equal the current app version. We want to set uh, version issue to be true. And the else scenario um, is just gonna be your button's code essentially. What the button normally is doing is down here. It just reads a little better so that you have this front part that you know is the app checking the version. And then the bottom is whatever the uh, button is supposed to do. So this is the pop-up that I built. Uh, and this is what will display to a user if the app finds are on the wrong version. It just says application version issue, the current version of your app is outdated. Uh, please exit the app to update. And then it shows your current version with the current version variable, and then the actual app version um, with the actual app version variable. And then this button down here is just an exit button. So it will make them uh, close out the app. That's the only thing they can do. So we want to make that uh, the visible property of this pop-up equal to version issue. Um, so now we can go ahead and test this. All right, so I've gone ahead and opened this app up. Uh, we can tell we're on version one in the app and the actual version of the app in the database is one. So when we go ahead and click the button, it's doing nothing and that's good because we didn't tell it to do anything um, and we're not getting that pop-up, so everything is good. Um, so let's say that we've still got this app open and a developer recently pushed an update and has changed the app version in the database. Let's say it's version two now. Um, so if we go back to the app, and now if we go ahead and click the submit button, we can see that we have that application version issue pop up. Our current version is one, but the database says it's two. So our only option is to exit the app, which is going to make the app update on the next time when the user logs in. Um, so we can go ahead and exit the app. So since I only tweaked the version number in the SharePoint list and not actually the current version in the app, uh, the current version is still going to say one, um, but it's going to be two here. So we can go ahead and test the uh, opening of the app, the on start functionality, and we can see that the version number in the app still says one. Um, so we're getting this pop up. So everything is working correctly. Um, again, had an actual update pushed through, this number would have been two and everything would be all good. Uh, so yeah, everything's working as expected. So again, Power Apps has gotten better about telling users if they're on the wrong version of the app, uh, but it's still it's sometimes hard when if users are on a smaller screen and they don't see the notification of, hey, you have an update, or if they don't notice it on the web browser. Um, this is just kind of a surefire way to make sure that the application is on the correct version. And again, on those larger complex Canvas app solutions that you might be building, um, the last thing you want to kind of think about when you're troubleshooting is, well, was the user on the wrong version? Uh, this way kind of prevents that so you know um, that they were using the app on the correct version. So hopefully you kind of got something out of this video. Let me know if you have any questions or comments below. I think this is a really cool solution. So I'm certainly excited to hear what you guys think about it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.